It's time for another board game review, and this time we have the game DC Comics Deck Building Game. Uh, this was sent to me by Cryptozoic Entertainment, and it's a really fun game. I mean, I'm just going to say that right off the bat. Uh, it's a deck builder, obviously. I mean, I love the title. It's just... doesn't doesn't mess around. It's DC Comics Deck Building Game. I love how simplistic that title is, and that's exactly what it is. It is a deck building game with DC Comics characters where you are... Um, Get buying better cards to add your deck to uh, make it more efficient and uh, you're trying to beat supervillains. Let me show you how to play. So the goal of the game is to defeat supervillains and try to get as many points as you can by the end of the game. Points are shown at the bottom left of cards. As you can see, this one has two at the bottom left here. And in order to do so, you have to buy cards using power. Each player gets their own superhero. You got characters like Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, they all have different abilities like Wonder Woman, for each villain you buy or gain during your turn, draw an extra card at the end of your turn. Superman, plus one power for each different superpower you play during your turn. They all have a special sort of perk that is unique to that character. And each player starts at the beginning of the game with seven punch cards, which are worth one power each, and three bad vulnerability cards, which are worth nothing, but that's bad because if you draw them, they're a waste of a card space. These are supervillain cards, and as you can see, they have a cost in the bottom right. Every card has a cost for how much power you need to buy it, and each villain, when they appear, has sort of like a special ability that hurts everybody in some way when they're revealed. If you're able to get eight power on your turn, you have the option to buy, or I guess beat, one of the villains, take it, add, to your, add it to your deck, and the villain provides you with a new power uh, when you draw it next time. When you go through all the villains, which I, I won't show for spoilers, uh, if you go through all the villains, then the game is over. Or if you run out of cards in the main stack. These five cards are the lineup, and all of them have different costs and different abilities. So on your turn, you draw five cards. Here we got four punches and one vulnerability. That means I have four power altogether. I go, okay, well, I have some options here. I can buy Bane which is a plus two power card, and he can attack other players. Each foe chooses and discards a card. Cards that have attack on them when you play them, other players have the option to defend or get hurt uh, with whatever the effect is on your card. So other cards on them will have ways to defend against these attacks. Or you could buy Swamp Thing, because that's also a cost of four. Um, if you control the location, which is what these cards are, um, this card is worth five power, which is a lot. Otherwise, it's worth two. Either way, you should buy one card. You can also buy a kick at any time. If you see, if you can't afford anything in the lineup or don't want anything in the lineup, you have the option to buy a kick card, which is a cost of three and is plus two power. So let's say I buy Bane. I add Bane to my discard pile and any cards that I use also go in my discard pile. Then in future rounds, if I draw Bane, I can use him for more power and an effect. And that's it. After you've bought everything in the lineup and your turn is done, you refill the lineup if there's any empty slots. Or if you defeated a supervillain that turn, the new one gets revealed and a new first appearance attack happens and hurts everybody. These cards are weakness cards. Some cards will allow you to uh, throw one of these weakness cards in your opponent's discard piles. And what these do is they're worth nothing, but at the end of the game, they are worth negative one point. And that's it. There are lots of different cards. Like we've got uh, villain cards, hero cards, uh, location cards, superpower cards, um, they all have a lot of different effects and can combo off each other. So there is a lot of strategy actually in deciding which cards you want to buy. And as you buy more cards, you can get more power on your turn and buy even better cards or beat villains. That's it. What I love about this game is it is extremely easy to learn and play. It plays really smoothly. There are more complex deck builders out there, but something about just this very easy, buy a card, add it to your deck, Keep going, it's quick play, it's so much fun. There's a lot of potential to do some really cool combos, like if you have Wonder Woman and you buy a lot of villains, it really helps benefit you. Um, Batman is really good with equipment cards. Um, the theme overall works really well, like all the heroes' powers feel very um, unique to them and make sense, and I love all the different card types and it has all sorts of characters, not just um, mainstream characters, but some obscure DC characters as well and all the abilities fit, it just, it, it, it comes together really well. Fighting the supervillain cards is really fun. Um, I like, I really like the concept of when you defeat a villain, it becomes part of your deck and has a power that you can use when you draw it. The only thing I wish the game had a easier way of doing was getting rid of cards out of your deck. 
because at the start of the game you have those three vulnerability cards and then you get weakness cards when people like attack you. Some of the cards you can buy have the option to destroy a card, but th you have to be lucky enough to get those. If you don't manage to get any of those cards, there's unfortunately not a really good way of trashing cards you don't want. Maybe if there was a thing where like on your turn you could spend power to trash like one card permanently. That could maybe make it a little more easier to manage it. I mean, it's the game still works totally fine, but it was just one minor complaint I had where the rules kind of make you think that you're going to be able to get rid of these cards very easily, but you kind of have to be lucky and get specific cards that will do it for you. Anyways, overall, I had a blast with this game. Um, there are like little uh, sort of expansions you can buy, and then there are also other full box sets like that are the same size as this game. Like, a, there's like a Villains one and like a Teen Titans one. Um, I will probably have to check them out. They gave me some of the little expansions, I didn't include them in the review. Um, but they had like interesting new rules and new characters and heroes and villains and stuck cards you can buy. It's cool. I really like this game a lot. And it's also um, called the Cerberus system and there are other um, properties that have the same rule set. Like they have like a Cartoon Network one and a Rick and Morty one. Um, so I might have to check those out as well. It's just a really smooth, fun deck builder. It's not the most complex, but you know what? I don't need it to be super complex. Uh, I like how easy and quick it is to play. Uh, it gives you that satisfaction uh, with very little, like, gotta read, like, memorize all these rules. It's just super satisfying. So, I highly recommend this game. I've been playing it a lot. It's, it's fantastic.